I mean, look at this. What the heck? God, is this even real? Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty Foundation. I just received it in the mail yesterday. So I'm very excited to try it out. I already tested it out on my hand. I will insert a clip here. Um, I hope I got the right color. So I purchased this at Sephora.com. I initially went to her website, but the shipping was going to be, I think, like $16. So I quickly went on to Sephora.com. And whenever you purchase from Sephora.com, um, they have a special going on. If you spend $50, you get free shipping. So this was, this retail for $40. So... This is what the bottle looks like. I believe it's plastic. It's not glass. It doesn't feel heavy. It's actually very, um, it's a very light bottle. I did pick up the color in Panna Coda. So, so as you can tell, I have a lot of redness in my skin. So this is due to a lot of acne when I was in high school so I used to break out all the time like severe acne breakouts I'm gonna do half face first all right so before I apply the foundation I'm going to put on a primer so this primer I use with any foundation and I have tested it out and it is a really good primer and I highly suggest it it's the Maybelline Master Prime Primer Base. So this uh, blurs and smooths out. So this is the one I'm going to be using. So when I test out primers, it's really easy for me to know if something works or if something doesn't work. Um, simply because when I put on my makeup, I only put it on once. I don't take any makeup with me. I don't, I don't reapply makeup. Um, so I basically look at my makeup throughout the day and especially at the end of the day and I see how my makeup holds up and that's how I determine what products to use because my skin is a combination oily and dry. Um, so I've used this for a couple months now and it's really one of the best primers that I have used. So I'm going to add one pump to the beauty blender that I have right here. Again, all of my blender sponges that I use are from Forever 21. So I'm gonna do half my face right now. And I have one pump of product. Alright, so at first, when I started to apply it, it would look like it was going to be too light. But now, looking at it, it looks really good. 
I usually like my foundations a little bit lighter because if it's a I'd rather it be a little bit lighter than a little bit darker because whenever I get foundations that are a tad bit uh, darker there's a significant difference um, with my neck so if it's lighter I can add more bronzer and not make it as noticeable the difference but I honestly feel like you can't really see much of a difference one thing though the coverage is intense it is so high coverage it has a light a uh, smell to it but it's not anything too crazy um usually i get a lot of dryness right over here but it the foundation didn't pick it up at all um it covered all of my redness i mean look at the difference side with foundation side without foundation so it's crazy um that was just one pump and I had enough product to even add to my eyelids, which I usually use my foundation or concealer or a concealer as my eyeshadow primer anyways. So, wow, it's, it's really good. I mean, look at this. What the heck? God, is this even real? Oh my god, I think I just need one pump for like my entire face. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like, it seems like it's gonna be too white, but then after I blend it in, it's not. Oh. But it just covers everything. I mean, look, look at it when it's all blended in on the other side. gonna have to I think I added too much for this left side but I'm gonna keep blending it but definitely don't put too much a little bit goes a very 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 long way holy cow Definitely covers all my imperfections. All the redness is gone. I feel like naked tutorials right now. I think I need to add a little bit. But it looks flawless I mean it looks flawless it looks freaking amazing in one of her videos that she posted on insta story she said that uh, with this foundation you're not gonna need a setting powder but I usually just put a setting powder anyways but I have a feeling <laughs> I have a feeling that I am not gonna need a setting powder because my face doesn't even look oily it doesn't even look remotely oily it has dried down to a nice smooth finish okay so on the box it says that this foundation is high coverage check cream foundation effortless application check camouflages imperfections check and pigmentation check soft focus filter finish so I definitely feel like I have a filter on my face right now. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished doing the rest of my makeup. I did my eyes and of course I used my Huda uh, palette. This is the first one she came out with. I use this palette almost every single day along with some others, but I mostly use that one. Um, so now I brought you guys back at this point so you can see me apply um, some contour. So uh, I, I noticed that with every different foundation that I apply, my contour applies differently. So when a foundation is not as full coverage, my contour applies a little bit patchy. So the better quality of the foundation, the better application of my contour. So I'm using a really uh, basic contour palette. It's from Forever 21 and it looks like this. So this is the only contour palette that I use. And I'm going to just contour right over here. Just a little bit over here, some over here, nothing too crazy. There's my contour, not bad, it applied really nicely. Um, so now I'm gonna apply the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Setting Spray. I should be like James Charles and pull out a fan and just fan myself. I need to get one of those. All right, so my final thoughts on this foundation is I'm completely blown away by this foundation. I mean, look at that coverage. I probably honestly could have uh, gone with the next shade up. Um, because it does look a little bit too white, but to be honest, I'm used to my foundations looking a little bit paler. Um, with that being said, I really like it. I don't think I'm going to go for a darker foundation. I just could have, but I'm not going to go ahead and purchase or return it to Sephora. Um, because then I would have to order the other shade online and wait for it. But I really, really really enjoy this foundation I highly recommend it and like I said $40 for a foundation is not that bad and I love Huda Beauty products I think she puts out great high quality products her eyeshadow palette is amazing and I honest and I want to buy her second eyeshadow palette but I just can't spend $65 on an eyeshadow palette. I just can't. Um, so I honestly, I also bought this foundation so I could post about it and do a video about it. Since you know I'm new to my YouTube channel, I need to um, do things that are trending. Yeah, you know, I can't just be spending money on every single thing that comes out in the beauty world. Um, but I do love supporting the brands that I know will come through. So Huda is definitely one of those brands. You know, I, I work full time. I have a family. I have a son to make sure he's fed. I need to pay bills, car payments, electricity, mortgage. I need to make sure all that is taken care of and whatever money I have left over, I choose very wisely where to spend it. So, you know, it. I was so happy to purchase this foundation because I 
I knew it wasn't gonna let me down. I am blown away. The coverage is just so amazing and I cannot wait for what I cannot wait for the next product that uh, she releases. I love eyeliners too so maybe if she comes out with the eyeliner or a mascara or something with eyebrows she just puts out great high quality um products so i'm very excited and yeah thank you for watching if you want to keep um if you want to follow me on my instagram it's c vivero and i do post um beauty related topics and pictures on there i am on instagram stories almost every day whenever i have time because like i said i do work full time and i'm also a mom but i'm really enjoying doing these uh beauty reviews so if you like it please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment thank you for watching bye